What's going on YouTube? It is your boy Chris back again with another video for you guys today. In this video, I want to discuss how to trade with special cards yet again. I made a video earlier in the year talking about how to trade with special cards. And in this video, I'm going to show you what my thought process is going through every single card that I'm looking at. And, you know, I did, you know, a couple th things earlier today. I've just been buying some special cards as well because I want to get my coins back up to 5 to 6 million. So, you know, we're going to kind of go through. It's going to be a little bit of a longer video today. So if you guys do enjoy this kind of video, make sure you guys do drop a like, comment, and, you know, let's move on from there. So first things I did today, I got Voss here at 72.5. He was off for 81K and nobody looked at this card. So I bought him for 72. Got him at 60. He's 65 at the moment. 76K. I got to 69 yet last night. 185, he should go 200. And then I just got these two flips here uh, where I'm just making a couple thousand coins a card. But all coins matter. So first thing I want to show you guys, and it's going to be a video that kind of goes back and forth between Fuppin because it's going to help you guys a lot. So just looking at some graphs here, uh, let me take away that Loris. So the first thing I go and look at is I go through a lot of these Team Leagues. I look at every single card through the Team Leagues. It, does, it is time consuming for sure. Um but you can make a lot of coins if you just look for more and more players so another thing you guys want to look at as well is make sure they don't have an SBC or a team of the week that is affecting um you know a player's price like if there was a player of the month Suarez that came out this is why that Suarez is down because of that now he's probably more stable at the moment because his player of the month is out um so if I look here uh he looks like he's up a little bit from today he was 97 Went all the way down to 80, went back up to 95. So that's unfortunate because that wasn't a bad price for that card. So I'm just going to look on the market. I first want to check um, this Nabry card once again, 80K. I want to go and take a look at that Suarez, okay? I'm going to be looking at SBC fodder, like nominee cards, and I'm also going to be looking at um, a lot of meta cards. So if I take a look at this Hazard, or not Hazard, this Suarez, uh, let me see if I can find its inform. So 93, 94, 95, 95 as well, uh, and 92. So not good enough for that Suarez, but we're going to move on because we don't want to stay on one card um, the whole time. Uh, let's look at this Firmino card, 171. Let's see where he's hit all day today. So let's take a look. Um, he hit 180 overnight, 181, 178, 168. Okay, so this kind of provides us a unique opportunity here. Um, if I can find a 165 to 166, I like that because I could probably sell it for 177 to 180. Um, and you can also, in this game, you get a lot more lazy buyers because the compare price method kind of sucks. Um, so let's see if I can find a 172 here um, on this Firmino. Uh, it's going to be difficult. A lot of people also lazy buy because you have to go through a lot of different versions of the card um, before reaching that you know, that card that you particularly want. So I can't find that Firmino. He's not on the market. Let's move on. Um, next card I want to take a look at is potentially this Nabry card. So I was looking at this a little bit earlier today. He was, he's 81 at the moment. Um, but if I look at this graph, he's been 85 multiple times throughout the day at, and 83.7. So again, in a market that's high because it is Wednesday, you have to like be okay with a couple K undercuts. But in a market that is down, like trading like this is so much fun because there is so many opportunities, like so many big undercuts, bids that are also um, very good because when a market is down, uh, people are afraid to buy. And that gives you a good opportunity on, um, on bidding to make a couple thousand extra coins because of that. So I'm looking at this Navri here and I've seen him hit 85, which already is about 2000 coins profit, I believe. If I was to sell this card now, this would be the equivalent of buying two at 80k and selling two at 85, and making only about you know 5k pretty much in total. So you don't want to like buy a 160k worth of players for only 5k. That's not the most effective for your money. You could do it. You know, money is money if you're prepared to wait to sell this card. Remember, it you have to list for you know list for the price that you guys want to you know list for. If I know that he hits 85, I may list at 84.5 because that's where I am comfortable of him going. So 77 for me is probably a good price for him. Um, and that's why I'm trying to look here. If I can find him at 77, I'm going to keep comparing this price here um, to see. 
but it just doesn't look like he's getting um, put up. This guy is very rare. I've been looking at this card for quite a bit today, and he just doesn't get like undercut at all. Um, it's quite interesting. But if I don't see anything in the next like two or three searches, I'm probably gonna probably gonna move on um, because I can't waste time on this video. So last search, let's see any bids out there. Nothing. All right, we gotta move on because we can't just sit on this card. You guys can. It's not the best value for time, but you could if you want. I also go onto the market index, um, the special. And I look and see the, the percentages, like what's down the most. So I'm looking right here. I'm looking at Luis Alberto is down like 12%. I'm looking at this Lewandowski is down 5%. Marcus Alonso. So this is someone that is like an SBC fodder. It doesn't really get put up um, for people to, you know, obviously use in their team. But he was down at 21, up to 24, 23.7. So he's not really down too much in my opinion. But that is something you guys can obviously look at. Maybe you want to get him at 21. Um, cards that are up a lot right now. Decorey's inform is up a lot. I would assume this is up a lot because he didn't get a second inform. So everyone bought back the first inform. Fabinho is high as fuck. Uh, Trent is up at five. A lot of Liverpool players right there. Um, another thing I go and look at is I go to FIFA 20 players. And I go through some of the different tiers of these cards. Like Team of the Year nominees. Ultimate Scream cards. Europa League Live. Gold cards as well. All informs. Uh, anything I can kind of look at pretty much. So the first thing I want to look at is who should we look at first? Let's take a look at who do I want to look at? Let's see. Lewandowski is 68. Royce is 255. Now that's a little bit lower than where I saw him last. I saw him at, yeah, 270. Okay, so he's been like 265. So I saw 255 right there. Um, I just want to see if, if Royce is on the market. Maybe I can find like a 250 or 240 um, on Royce. Because it doesn't hurt to look at the card. Because you never know what someone will put him up at. It doesn't hurt to look. Trust me. It doesn't. Uh, 260 right there. So just put on your chance targets. See if it sells. What just sold? Um, something sold. Nominee Verratti with a shadow card. Sold at 25.5. I picked it up at 23. And I do have a screen yard as well. I picked him on bid at, two, at 30k. I'm selling with 35, and he should sell soon. Um, going through these again, I'm looking at this Hummels is 35k. Now, let me see where Hummels has been multiple times today. If I go and look, uh, he was 37, 38, 39. Okay, so he's hit 39 multiple times today. That is interesting. He's 35 from what looks like on that undercut, but I want to see if I can find like maybe a 34 or a 33. That's where I'm more comfortable with this card. So let's see uh what happens here so let's go like 34 and let's go like maybe 28 something like that just kind of searching like my filter um so let's see if we can find the the hummels card the 88 overall i'm not sure if we'll find an undercut here but a lot of people are actually lazy by these cards because they don't they can't find them through all of these ucls that get put up and because of uh, the compare price thing, it fucks up a lot. So people just go on lazy buy if they need a card for an SBC. Or maybe they, you know, if you really want to use this Hummels for your team, I'm not really sure if you want to do that. But right there, 35 at the moment. It's probably going to get bought. Um, I'm trying to look for a 33 on that, but I can't stay on the card, obviously. So I have to move on. Um, we want to take a look at uh, who's next. How about this Jan Vertonghen? It's, he's high as fuck uh, as the center back version. Don't really know why. Um, okay, so he's 70, 71, 68, and he's now 64. So he was 70 overnight. Uh, looks like this card's like very, very rare. I don't know if it actually gets bought. I, I'd be surprised, but let me see if I can find maybe even an undercut uh, on a card like this. So let's take a look at 64, maybe. Um, let's look. So he obviously has his left wing back. You can obviously, you know, reset the filter to center back if you want uh, for it to be easier. But if I'm looking through, I'm going all the way to the end. Okay, so I just see a lot of these at uh, 64, 64. That's three there. Um, where's this at? 64 as well. If we can keep looking. Okay, so there's nothing at like 60. That's kind of like the price I was willing to pay for the card. 60,000 sell for 67-ish. Um, probably an overnight sale. But we move on, right? We move on to the second page of these cards. I'm going to take a look at... Uh, Marquinhos is at 53. I know this car goes to like 56. Not sure if it sells, but that's why you put stuff on your trans targets to see if it does sell. 
If you look at the fluctuation here, he hit 57, 56 multiple times. Let's see if he does sell. Um, I'm going to take a little bit of a risk here. I'm going to see, you know, I got him at a lower price. The tax is amazing at this, so I'm not going to really lose too much if I, if I fuck up. So let's go to like 55. Let's see the amount here. 51. Oh, 49. See, that's brilliant. See, I know this goes to 57. Um, I'm going to pick this up as well because I know that I could sell this at 56 plus. So that is not too bad. Uh, what we're going to do here and chem styles aren't great. So let's go 55.5. And on this one as well, it's 55.5. Um, actually, I'll go 56 for this one. So that is pretty good. Just picked up both. One at 49 and one at 51. That's very, very good. Um, again, you would look at bids. Um, and yeah, see, all of them are getting bought. Back up at 53. So I like that a ton because I can make a couple thousand coins a card doing that. Um, not really sure how long this video is going to be, guys. I do apologize. Uh, really. Let me see this uh, Kimmich card. He's 44K at the moment. Um, and let me see where he's been. So Daily Graph 46, 47, 48. Been pretty low throughout the day, but last night he was very high. Um, he was 47 yesterday at night, so it looks like he was up to 47 late night. Okay, so he's 44 at the moment. Let's see if I can find like like a 41-ish, because that's a great card to... Uh, people actually like using this card. Um, I don't know why, but let's see if I can find one. So, uh, let me see. He obviously has his center mid in form as well, but I'm going to go to the back of the 59th minute and see if I can find the, the nominee card. These nominees fluctuate a ton, so they're a lot of fun to trade with. Um, so there's none here. Unfortunately, he's not able to find one. But let's take a look at his inform as well, because he doesn't just have a nominee. He has a special inform as well. He's 40,000 coins, his uh, inform. And if you look at his daily graph, he goes to 42, um, 42.5, and he's up at 40 at the moment. So we move on. Let's go to like the midfielder section of him. Let's see if we can find him at like 39. Okay, we can't. So he's probably like 40. Yeah, he's 40. And again, this will also help out if you can find him with a shadow um, or an anchor or something like that. So, you know, maybe you could sell him the card for like an hour, you know, a minute or two. Not an hour, obviously. But just keep looking through this card, man. And you're going to find like a deal in probably in a couple minutes time as long as it doesn't get bought. So, yeah, 40k. I'm not going to sell him the card because it's just not worth my time for a thousand coins but you get the point of the of the kimmiches wasn't able to find one at 42 41 uh let me take a look at this um let's see i want to look at frankie de jong 87.5 okay 85.5 actually if i look at the hourly graph he was 90k overnight 88 89 all day he's been 87 so all of a sudden he's 85.5 if maybe i find a cheeky 5k undercut in the card that's solid for Frankie De Jong's info, um, Frankie De Jong's nominee card. So if I'm looking here, let's see if we can find one. Um, let's see. Ooh, so there's a lot here. All right, so it's an 84 as well with a hunter. Wow, he's got a hunter on him. Uh, you might be able to sell that for a little bit more. If we take a look at Frankie De Jong with a hunter, uh, you might be able to sell that for a little bit higher. Don't know how many people are actually putting a hunter on this card though. Oh, see that I like. See, this I like a lot because this has a hunter, okay, and, and, again, like I said, a 5k undercut. That's brilliant. Center mid, De Jong, hunter, he's been 87.5 all day, all right, nothing's gonna make this card drop other than over listing, um, and that's very good. So that's like a third or fourth deal we've picked up, um, and I'm not even Thursday flipping at this point, like, I can sell this for higher on Thursday flipping, 100%, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna probably list for 88 which is about 4 to 5k on this card. That's that's not too bad. That 84 De Jong should sell at some point as well once he gets bought back up. Obviously, people are going to be like, okay, at some point he's going to be too low, and they're going to buy back. Uh, we move on to a different card. Again, we buy one. We, we're not going to be greedy, and we're just going to take the coins. This Trent Alexander-Arnold is 30,000 coins at the moment, 29.5. Uh, that's up probably a little bit. Yes, that's up a little bit. So that's not good enough. We move on. Uh, Jordan Henderson, we're not really interested in. Um, but we move on to a different tier of card. Maybe we go to, instead of nominees, we go to maybe, um, who should I look at right now? Uh, let's go through like the the, nom the ultimate scream cards. All right, so Tony Cruz, 250. That's a little bit low. Uh, Zlatan's 142. For me, it was 855. This is 188. This is so high in price right now. It is ridiculous. 
um, 80k for Romagnoli, 38 for Carvalho, 73 for Gamero. Dimitri's up like 4k at the moment. Uh, so not not a lot of these are are great. But let me take a look at this uh, Rafael Guerrero at 29.2. There's not really much affecting his price. So if I could see a flip here, uh, he's been 30.5. So that's not great. The scream cards are all being bought up. Bernardo's up a ton. Adama's up. Uh, this like sold is up, and Saint Juste is up as well. So the nominees are where it's at actually. The the nominees right now seems to me very very nice. So. Maybe I just keep looking through some of these cards. Look at Luka Modric. Luka Modric. Take a look. 111,000 coins. Um, where has he been today? So today he was 110, 112. But he hit as low as 105. So that was where you wanted to pick him up. Probably 101. And sell for about 111. That's, again, 5k profit. Um, let's take a look at... Again, I want to look at this Harry Kane card. Because I know where his inform is going. His inform sometimes gets put up. Um, yeah, 84.5 just got bought for De Jong. Uh, and I might be able to sell some of these cards on the video. We'll see what happens. Um, so I wanted to look at who? Who do I want to look at? Kane, right? I want to look at Kane because his inform goes to 66 to 70 overnight. So a good price for this card is probably like under like 61-ish. 61 for the uh, inform to make a little bit of profit. Uh, the nominee is there at 60. Oh my, so so the inform is here at 60. Uh, that is pretty good because I remember, if I go look at the 90 inform, if I look at this 90 inform Keen, he's 64 at the moment. Uh, if you look at his graph, he's been pretty much 66 all day long. So this is a card that I can probably flip overnight. Uh, first, I just want to take a look and see if there's like an undercut there uh, on the inform before I go and buy. So there's not. So what I'm going to do here is just to make a little bit of coins, uh, I'm going to buy that. Uh, I'm going to be able to make a little bit. Nothing nothing crazy, but with your budgets, you guys want to do stuff like this. So maybe I'll go like 60. What is 65.5? Um, it's like 2. That's like 3K. Eh. So it's like, okay, we'll go 3K here. That's 3K profit on this card at 66. That should sell. Because if I look at where he is at 66, there's not many up, I believe. Uh, if I, let's see. So there's one there. There's one, uh, there's two at 65, and you can list higher as well. Yeah, so there's not that much. There's like a couple at 65, and that's it. So that wasn't that bad, um, and we're just going to keep moving on, right? We saw that cane. We like it. Um, again, this cane was at 60K. Uh, where did he hit? 62. Yeah, nothing crazy on this card, so unlucky there. Um, let's take a look at this Ter Stegen, 76,000 coins. Uh, and it's just all about studying graphs. That That's really what it's about. Um, seeing he hits 79 here, 79, 80 during the daytime. So I like that actually because it says he's 76. And I could find a 73 there and I could probably make some coins on that card. So let's look at Tristegan's nominee card. Uh, let's put him at like 67 to 76. And let's just see if we could find the nominee. Uh, maybe we find like an undercut. That's pretty good. So let's see. Nothing there. Unfortunately, have to move on. I can't be there multiple times. Um, I can't just keep comparing price. I have to move on. Um, let's take a look at Christian Eriksen's too high. Sadio Mane. Again, for your higher budget guys, if you were to see Mane's at 452 at the moment, um, that is up a lot. But he did hit 460 throughout the day. Uh, 440 throughout the day, actually. He was 460 overnight. Even hit a point at 470. So that's potential you know, flip opportunity. Uh, we look at Benzema's 88 overall card, 41,000 coins for this. Let's see if that's a little high. So, if I look at him, he was 42, 42, and he's been pretty much 40, but he hit that low at 36. That's where you want to pick him up at. Um, even at 37, you can flip. Um, so, nothing crazy there with the nominees anymore, but maybe I go and look at... I go and look at all specials, and maybe I go and put my price at like 20k and higher, because... That's going to help me out. Then what I do is I sort by the price so I can search through the, the lower rated ones first or like the, the cheaper ones first. Um, we look at Partey there. It's 21.2. Not really interested in that because I've seen the price yesterday, obviously. Um, Roberto Firmino, Scream. Marcus Alonso. Quincy Promise, uh, 23 as well. Nothing crazy there. Uh, let's move on to some of these cards. Jane Sancho's 25 for the nominee. Is that maybe a little bit low for him? Um, if you see here, 
He had 27, 26, 27, 26. All right, so maybe if we can find a 23 or a 22 on Sancho, that could be pretty good. So let's actually move on here just to see if we can find one. Um, so let's go 22 to 25. All right, so he's not up at that price. But you see the 26 here? 23 is a good price because you could probably sell 26, 27 um, at the moment. Uh, and with weekend league as well coming, you know, maybe he's used a little bit, could rise just a little. Uh, Roman Lukaku's 86 overall card, 26.2. Let's see if that's a little bit low. So if we look at the graph there, he's at 26.7, 26, had a low point of 24, 26 again. So he's a little high. He's a little high at the moment. Uh, and this is the stuff that you guys want to look at. Even a summer, you know, not a good card, but he has some sort of value. You know, he does hold value at some point. So he hit a low at 25, and now he's back with 27.5. And you're making a couple thousand coins every single time you do stuff like this. Um, I want to go through some of like the, the more meta stuff. Like this, uh, not the not the Ebra Inform, but the Ebra, you know, Scream card. That's a meta card. People like using this. If I look at the hourly graph, he hit 130, 141, uh, 139. So he's hit 139 multiple times today. A buy price for him is if he ever hit 130 and under. Uh, because you could probably lazy list him at 141 and make a little bit of profit. Um, what are some other cards to look at? Guerrero we looked at as well. Kolarov is at 29.5 for the 86. Now this is, I think, last week's team of the week, um, I believe. So yeah, so he hit 33, 33. Okay, so you know what? He's hit 33 multiple times uh, overnight. Let's see if we can find maybe like a 28 for that Kolarov. And I don't want to take too much more of your time because I just want to show you what I kind of go through uh, with some of these with some of these buys. So maybe I put my price at like 20 to 29. And let's just see if we can find the 86 here. Um, it's going to be difficult though because the 84 inform is there. So this is kind of like how you trade though. Um, a lot of people are going to be lazy and they're not going to want to go all to the way to the 59th. And you can find like easy deals because of that. Um, did I just see the 86? I just saw it right here. No. Wow, I just got I just got bugged out. Uh, no 86 there. Let's see. Where is he? Um, so nothing actually popped up for the 86. So that's kind of unfortunate at 29.5. But that is something like people do not actually look all the way to the 59th, and you can make some profit there. Um, so none of my cards are actually selling at the moment, but they should. We obviously saw that Deong sell for um, 84, which means I'm already making a little bit of profit because um yeah 84k he's gonna go back up to 86 87 and i'll make a couple thousand coins on that uh if i want to keep going through other cards as well not just like pick a pick like 10 cards to kind of continually look at and then just keep searching and see what happens so this is at 81 again not a great price i go back to the keen maybe i find like a 58 inform you know you never know so i just go look again and let's see if we can find the inform card so that's what I'm that's what I'm interested in um so no nothing there as well we go look at look at uh humbles again okay that's again a card and these cards all sell trust me I I've traded with these cards throughout the whole year um or a good amount of them and they all sell so you just gotta be patient with your with your prices um don't get frustrated if a thing doesn't sell in a day um it will sell 35 35 so nothing crazy there um and yeah these cards will sell at some point so i don't want to take too much more of you guys time thank you guys for watching today i'll probably make some other other videos on this kind of stuff of me kind of live trading so i hope you guys did enjoy the uh the video drop a like comment subscribe if you're new right here talk to you guys in a video soon peace out